Goose Tees champs at home. Two-point game here in D.C. What an inbounds play from Hofstra. G.W. Matola out to the senior McDonald. G.W. using the shot, using up their shot clock. Matola looked for Garino, somehow found them for three. Here comes Wanye Green. A two will tie, a three will take the lead. Green, the senior, we're deadlocked at 80. What a move by Wanye Green. And he thought he got fouled. He just gave the ref a little wink, too. Wanye. Wanye Green. And, and here, he, he fakes. Everybody's so worried about Green that Gustiz gets a ride right to the basket. And then you got Wanye here picking up a little. He gets bumped there, and then a, just a little bit of a bank shot there. Outstanding. Fun to watch. And again, he, he, he understands going off the wrong foot at the right time. It's so hard. That's, that's from playing a lot of basketball. A 9-0 run for Green's Pride in the last two minutes. Last tie, Craig, got to go all the way back to 31 apiece. If you're Joe Mahalik in this situation, what are you drawing up as you go back on the defensive side? Well, the one three ones work for him, but that's a risky move because it leaves a lot of spots open, and it also uh, uh, it, it leads to a lot of offensive rebounds. But it's it's worked, so I would I would I would. I would go to a 2-3. GW is going to wait to see what comes out, try and get the ball to their best player, Kavanaugh. If he doesn't get it, look for Larson. GW sets out Kavanaugh, Matola, McDonald, Garino, and Larson as the crowd rises here at the beautiful Smith Center. And yeah, I, I said the first one to 80 wins. Staying in the 1 3 1. Matola with the rudder. Got it! Two seconds to go. Green for the prayer. And GW advances to the second round of the NIT tournament. The grad student, Alex Matola. I mean, that was not the play that was drawn up. I can tell you that. Alex Matola coming off and shooting the floater off the rock. He, he's doing his best Wanye Green impersonation there. You see GW screens the top of the zone. That is a hard shot by Alex Matola. He had two big shots here down the stretch, the three and then the teardrop. You talk about an unselfish player, Matola. Scored over 1,000 points in three years at Dartmouth as a starter. A 39% three-point shooter. Comes here to GW for his grad student year and comes off the bench yeah. for the good of the team. I mean, and smart enough to graduate from Dartmouth in three years. First of all, that's very hard to yeah. do. And then, as you said, he comes here as a graduate student. Been coming off the bench all year easily arguably it's arguable that he could have been starting and just has been a fantastic role model great role player and he resurrected his game he was 0 for 7 hits the three and then finally breaks the tie getting that runner to win the game for gw well you and i talked about this four or five game we said was going to be maybe the best game in the first round of this nit and it lived up to it Credit to Hofstra here, the pride under Joe Mahal. They did an exceptional job in this game falling back. Yeah, it is a shame that somebody had to lose this game. As we take a look at the updated bracket of the second round, number one, Monmouth will host GW. On the bottom portion, Ohio State will go to Gainesville to face Michael White's Florida Gators. 
Well, I, I, you know, Monmouth is going to be favored, but this George Washington team has both the size and the shooting ability to give them a run for their money. There's the star of the game, the grad student transfer from Dartmouth, Alex Mazzolo from Flora Park, New Jersey, with the runner and the winner here for GW. For Craig Robinson and our entire ESPN crew, this is Dave Leno saying so long from our nation's capital for the final score, George Washington 82 and Hofstra 80. To watch this entire game of replay, as well as other games on our ESPN networks, like on the watch ESPN.com or download the watch ESPN app.